So this is the next project. It's a massive great book book, as you can tell by the size of my scalp that's next to it, just for reference. And as you can tell, it's a little bit chunky. <laughs> it, it's, it's past its best. And it's also missing the leather part on the spine bit. So I'm going to tell you what it's called. It's called Magnus Standard Horse and Stock Book Illustrated. Now I've had one of these before and I've made it as a commission and here it is. This is what it ended up turning up like. This was a double-sided card. So I decided I wanted to have another go, another one. Now I have to say the last one I had was in some better condition than this one is, but I'm kind of giving you an idea of what I'm actually after doing. So because it's such a, a big book, it would be a shame just to just carve half of the book. So my plan is to possibly just actually split, split it in half, have it open like a book would be open. So having it half here and half there, and hopefully when it's glued, you know, it will just, it will stand in one place. Yeah, I had to put it down. I just, I kept falling over because it's so wonky. But anyway, yeah, gluing the edges and then basically having it so as if the book is actually open. But my only doubt is they don't always transfer over very well when they're done. Um, I've tried it a couple of times. So I'm, I'm kind of very much, I'm in an and about it, whether I'm actually going to, to do it or not. So I'm going to have to think on this one for just for a while. Also... I keep finding lots of bookmarks. Now, people use lots of different things for bookmarks. These are just some of the ones that I've found. Probably should actually just tip this thing up and give it a good shake out. Um, but they look like all um, lists that somebody has made for the ingredients that they need to make up the medicines, I suppose, or the treatments and things like that. So, yeah, there's actually there's quite a few of these. Um, I'd like to actually keep some of them and use them. But I also found this. And basically, you know the blurb that you get on the back of a book? Well, this is the blurb on the back of a book. And as you can see, it says New York 1901 and it was worth 10 and 6. Now, it does actually say a complete Victorian encyclopedia of practical reference for horses and stock owners, compromising of all secrets of taming and controlling and educating. But it also says on the bottom um, about poultry, about dogs and his ailments, bee culture, fruit culture, grafting, all that kind of stuff. Now, I think it would be a real shame to actually lose this. And I would actually like to use it in the book. Also, I've started taking some of the illustrations out. Um, it takes a while. It's a big book. It can take a couple of hours to pick what I want. And I can't take everything out because otherwise the book will just end up collapsing at the end. And they'd be no good. Anyway, these are some of the other illustrations. I mean, there's, you know, just under 2,000 of them. So there's loads and loads of different ones to try. But um, these ones, like these pigs coming up, these are great, these ones. There's quite a few of these. I mean, he, he's a round boy, this one. But I just wanted to kind of show you what my next project was, what the plans were. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you think.